we move now to the second section, which is the launch of the I.O. case study of ASTM International. Um, and after that, we will have a, a, a coffee break before moving to the second part of our academic afternoon. So I would like to welcome Catherine Morgan, president of ASTM International, and we'd like uh, to give the floor to her so that she can present the case study. Well, good afternoon and thank you. Uh, I'd like to express my thanks to Secretary General Corman and also to you, Nicola, as facilitator of the International Organizations Partnership. Let me also just mention right up front how much I have appreciated and am benefiting from representing ASTM International and working with all of you in the IO partnership. It is really wonderful to share our experiences and learn from each other in such a supportive environment. Each of us and our organizations have missions to serve our members and to serve society, and in doing so, to make the world better. So it is absolutely ideal that we can collaborate in this forum, share information, discuss best practices, and promote greater awareness and understanding of how IOs encourage and support international regulatory cooperation. As has been noted today, the compendium is an impactful tool and it's evidence of the value that we can create together. Building on this work, I'm really delighted to join you today to welcome and introduce this OECD case study of ASTM International as an international organization. Now, I, I did have some slides that I thought OECD was going to be um, scrolling through for me. Do we know if that's possible? I believe so. I have it in my notes, so apparently it's possible. There we go. Perfect, thank you. Uh, if you could move to the next slide, please. For those listening who may not be familiar with my organization, I'll say just briefly that ASTM International is a globally recognized leader in the development and delivery of voluntary consensus standards. We've been around for almost 125 years. And as you can see by the other numbers that are on the slide, ASTM International standards have significant presence and relevance around the world. Our open and diverse membership supports our agility and our responsiveness to market and regulatory needs. ASTM also provides technical training and laboratory quality programs that complement many of our standards. We also have two research and center of excellence programs that align our standards roadmap with our innovation roadmap. You could move to the next slide, please. In summary, the case study examines ASTM International's governance, our standard setting process, and programs in the context of effective international rulemaking. I offer that its relevance is highlighted in the very first sentence of the executive summary, which I'd like to quote. There is no longer any doubt that the major policy challenges of the 21st century are of transboundary, if not even of global magnitude. The policy challenges are also increasingly complex and precise, calling for increasingly specialized and diverse actors, going well beyond traditional intergovernmental organizations to support governments in the variety of transboundary challenges they have to face. Next slide, please. Moving to just a few of the summary findings of the case study, we are very pleased that the OECD team found a number of special features of ASTM International provide interesting perspectives about international standard setting. In particular, ASTM International's membership structure and the standards development process promote open participation that spans the globe from North and South America to Europe and on to the Asian Pacific. ASTM International relies on over 30,000 individual members from every OECD member country and over 100 others to develop the technical content of standards and testing programs. Our bottom-up approach and our process enables us to facilitate standard setting in new market areas. Our Research to Standards initiative, which continues to grow, seeks to bridge that gap 
that exists between technological innovation and technical standardization around promising technologies like additive manufacturing and exoskeletons. And then ASTM is open to and does coordinate with over 115 other international, regional, and national institutions, including other international standardization bodies. And we do this to avoid inefficiencies and promote technical convergence. Tomorrow, we're going to sign a new technical cooperation agreement with ABNT, the National Standards Body of Brazil, which we hope will strengthen collaboration in biofuels and other areas. Next slide, please. The next three slides just provide a quick snapshot of ASTM international activity areas discussed in this study, where our collaborative, open, science-based approach to standardization is contributing to making the world better. I'm gonna to touch very briefly on them in my remaining time. Additive manufacturing, which can include 3D printing is a very robust area for international collaboration and for our research to standards agenda. Our members from industry, research institutes, government, they have time and time again demonstrated a willingness to share their research and knowledge while learning from others. And ASTM International has supported global collaboration by entering into a partner standards development organization agreement with our colleagues at ISO, the International Organization for Standardization, for the development and publishing of joint ASTM ISO standards in this very exciting area. And these joint standards are being adopted around the world, including as European norms. The next slide, please. Sustainability and construction materials, also a very active area for ASTM. Our concrete committee, 106 years young, is still going strong, developing and delivering standards that promote quality and performance assurance while seeking to lower environmental impacts and contribute to worldwide circular construction related goals. To better address the area of stormwater management, earlier this year, we reorganized a bit established a new dedicated technical committee in this area to address the global challenges from heavy rainfalls, storms, and floods. Next slide, please. And finally, aviation, another growth area for ASTM International. We have six technical committees covering various aspects of this sector, and it's an area where we're making a very positive difference for sustainability. In short, ASTM D2 standards for aviation fuels including more sustainable alternative blends are the global standards in the sector, recognized by the International Air Transport Association, among others. Separately, this summer, when the European Commission released its Fit for 55 legislative program, we were very excited that the Refuel EU initiative recognized the essential role that ASTM standards play in sustainable aviation fuels. Next slide, please. So in conclusion, I'm very proud to share that the OECD case study has reaffirmed what many have known for years. Namely, OECD found that ASTM International is open, it's transparent, globally active in our scope and our reach, science-based, market relevant, collaborative, and it's focused on technical quality. That really sums up what ASTM International is all about. The standard setting organizations do play an important role due to their ability to convene and their root commitment to sourcing global technical expertise. And we take those responsibilities very seriously at ASTM. As I wrote in the preface to the case study, we're excited about collaboration to improve lives and make the world better. I also wrote there that as ASTM International approaches the 125th anniversary of its founding, I hope that this brief case study is not only a useful reference for experts in and students of regulatory policy, but I really hope that the case study helps to promote the principle that there are multiple paths to the same destination. And so I, of course, agree wholeheartedly with Michael Fitzpatrick's comment in the last panel that we need to exploit all of the options available to us. So ASTM International is looking forward to the future to nurturing our relationships, as well as seeking and establishing new collaboration partnerships to better serve society. And my last slide, please. In closing, I just want to thank all of the OECD team who worked on the study project, including, but not limited to Celine Kaufman, 
Nick Malashev, Camilla Safiero, and uh, Mariana Kartanen. So we look forward to spreading the good word about the good work that they've done. And uh, thank you for allowing me to join you this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine, for the presentation of this case study. We will certainly disseminate it. And, and, and I think you're right. It, it shows also the diversity of the IO partnership and the fact that uh, you know, there are different ways to reach the same goal, to use a, a term which has been used during the panel.